Sun, signs Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what is your person telling their family and friends about you. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Wow. Definitely a strong romantic energy that is present in the reading here. Okay, this is someone who is this is someone who potentially is in love with you or is falling in love with you. And if you've been with this individual for quite some time, then this is someone who feels like they're falling in love with you all over again. They most certainly do talk about their uh, about you to their family and friends but they do it it's coming from such a genuine place this is someone who feels like you're the one this is someone who feels like you even if they don't believe in soulmates they find themselves and very much to their surprise they find themselves saying things like you're their soulmate you're the one you're the one that they want to marry you're the one that they want to ride off into the sunset with you're the one they want to build um, a life with and it's funny because their family and friends know this person to be a little bit on the player side you know they know that this person you know they like to have their fun they're not really not that they're incapable of commitment but this is someone who is a bit of a fickle energy okay and in the past they've had a lot of choices they've had a lot of options and they've liked it that way so their family in, in particular their friends their friends know that you know this is someone who you know it is a bit of a player you know this is someone who has a lot of charm has a lot of personalities very attractive and they know it so they kind of use it to their advantage and they've never really wanted commitment okay they've always wanted to have that retain that sense of independency retain that sense of individuality they've you know they always wanted to be where the fun and the excitement was and as soon as that started fizzling out they'd move on to the next best thing but then they found you and you've changed a lot of things for this individual and you know they're, they're very much talking to their friends and family about you but it's like it's almost like it's like you've changed them you've changed their perspective you've changed their view on love and relationships and their family and friends are thinking, what is it have you, that you've done to them? Because all of a sudden, you know, they've gone from the Knight of Wands type of energy, which is a player type of energy, um, you know, and they've sort of moved into the Knight of Cups energy, which is this idealist, this, you know, um, charmer, Mr. Romance himself. So, you know, they've gone to moving from one relationship to the next, on, you know, ping-ponging from one romantic partner to the next, to now the Knight of Cups energy, someone who wants to settle down, someone who wants to get married, and someone who's talking about all of these things. Uh, this person keeps saying how the both of you have such a strong and powerful connection, and how they've never truly felt it with anyone else in the past. If this is a long distance, because for some of you I feel like you're doing long distance uh, with this individual, then this is someone who is talking about traveling to see you, traveling to be with you, maybe even taking a holiday together. For some of you, this is like a childhood sweetheart or someone whom you've known from the past, or it's like a friendship maybe that all of a sudden turned romantic. This person is definitely, you know, they feel really good about themselves and they definitely speak about you in a very positive light. This is someone who feels like, you know, they say things like you're their best friend and you guys just really, you know, you get on and you guys just, time flies. They're always having fun with you and it's just, like, you've completely shifted their mood. You've completely shifted their perspective. All of a sudden they've turned mushy and romantic and 
they, they weren't like this before. There is a particular energy in their life whom they're very close with. It feels like it's a, it's a King of Swords energy, so a bit of an alpha here, a masculine energy. Could also be a female. She just come across as quite, like she might just have a lot of masculine energy, right? Um, but this is someone who is offering a lot of, um, this person shares a lot of um, their thoughts and their feelings with this individual. Feels like a father, feels like a father figure or someone like a, Maybe like a brother or older brother or an uncle of some sort or just like a really good friend whom they've known for ages and this is someone who looks out for them. This person shares a lot of what they think and feel about you and about this relationship with this individual and this is someone who is, let me tell you, very supportive. This person is also very transparent, like they don't hold back anything from this individual, like they tell them how it is even if it's going to hurt them. So just this rawness and transparency to their relationship and to their connection and um, this person is you know is sharing a lot of what they feel with uh, for you and if they haven't told you yet they're definitely telling this person that you know they see themselves falling in love with you or they already are in love with you they feel you know some very strong feelings for you maybe they've never felt this way before And this person knows, like, this individual knows this person, maybe even since childhood. Like, they've known each other for a long time. Um, and they can see that, you know, there's some very wonderful, positive changes that have taken place in this person's energy. Because all, all of a sudden, they've gone, to, they've gone from the Knight of Wands, you know, n not wanting to settle down, not wanting to commit to the Lover's Card. You know, then talking about a marriage, a union, commitment. So it's like from one extreme to another. They feel like they're very happy with you. And, you know, people can people can tell. They're, they're noticing just how happy you make them feel. And, you know, on cloud nine, um, there's been a lot of, Either this, if you've been together for a lot of, for a while, there's been a lot of growth and maturity and a lot of um, evolving that has taken place in this person's energy since you've been together. If not, then and especially if their family and friends have met you, they feel like you're a very positive influence and that you know the both of you could really grow together. Okay guys, so these are your messages. I just want to thank you all for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Um, for those of you interested in a personalized reading, please feel free to inquire. Bye for now.